Today we are looking at the radioisotope cesium-137 and its use in the medical field along with the benefits and problems of its use. This is the original element form cesium, which is a solid metal in its natural state. Its atomic number is 55 and its symbol is CS, which can be seen in its location on the left hand side of the periodic table, indicating that it is a group 1 element in alkali metal. And today we are focusing on the radioisotope form of cesium. But before we begin, what is a radioisotope? Well, let's begin breaking down the word itself. Radio refers to radioactivity. Isotope refers to atoms of the same element but have various amounts of neutrons within the nucleus. As we know that the mass number of any element specifies the number of protons and neutrons, isotopes of elements hold various mass numbers due to the different number of neutrons that may be within the nucleus. Altogether then, a radioisotope is a radioactive isotope. The reason why they are radioactive is due to the unstable balance of energy within the nucleus since neutrons are taken away or at varied amounts which causes the nucleus to become unstable and release radiation. Now to the case of the radioisotope cesium-137. The radiation type it emits is beta, which can penetrate through human skin but be absorbed by body tissues or aluminium. Only then it proves logical of its use in medicine. In medicine, cesium is used both in its element form and its radioisotope form. Whether it be utilized as cesium chloride, its salt form, to be ingested as a pill or liquid, or in its radioactive form in radiotherapy or brachytherapy. Altogether, CS137 plays a part in treating cancer. Meanwhile, CS137 is used in radiotherapy and brachytherapy. The difference between both radiation therapies is simply that one is applied externally or the other is applied internally. Both consist of gamma radiation exposure to a particular area of the body that holds the cancerous tumor. It can result in killing the cancer cells or reducing the symptoms and growth of cancer. Now let's weigh the advantages and disadvantages. CS137 has already evidently contributed to the use of cancer treatment and its many methods. As for the radioisotope itself, it has a stable daughter product through its decaying and half-life process, which is barium-137. Yet the use of cesium particularly focuses on health risks. Radiotherapy has had risky outcomes such as the worsening of the tumor, but these are more so in rare occasions. Radiation exposure to people other than patients results in skin burns and even possibly death. Disposal of the product CS137 is quite difficult as well due to its long decay process of 110 days. Overall, CS137 verifies to be more providing of benefits rather than drawbacks. The only circumstances that problems are to occur are due to misuse of the radioisotope. But cesium-137 is used rightfully in medicine for the treatment of cancer. It holds an important role in medicine against cancer and will continue to do so for the future.